Some of the most important aspects of a true enterprise application can be found in the data that it makes available to you. Analytics is the process of discovering, interpreting, and, and communicating patterns found in that data. Within Control Hub, you will find analytics right here at the top. Now, it continues to get more love and attention from the developers, and now it's not just meetings. It's all here, messaging, calling, and WebEx devices, which includes headsets, cameras, all the way through to desktop and room systems. One big change you don't want to miss, meetings data is no longer on a 24-hour delay. It's now real time. We'll start with this new My Dashboards tab. And right away, we can see great information in this summary dashboard view. There are helpful key performance indicators across the top here, plus a selection of helpful charts and graphs. Nothing here is fixed in place. It's all very modular. Just go into edit mode. You can resize cards, shift things around, manipulate the data exactly how you need or want. It's great and all, but the real power is being able to make your own dashboards. Just click on new dashboard, rename the tab and the section, and then save. And now we can pick any data we want from any other tab. Let's go into meetings. This meetings minutes card would be more helpful as a bar chart. And look at this innocent little action button. You can grab an image or the raw data, but we want to use this to pin to dashboard. We'll just select the right one. We have just the one section defined. So now we'll just pin it. And then staying in our real-time meeting data, let's jump over to voice over IP quality. Oh, by the way, you can hover over these little eyes to get helpful info on definitions and background calculations. I really appreciate this kind of detail. Also, these KPIs can be grabbed for custom dashboards too. Notice our last moves are remembered, so it's even faster when you don't need to change anything. Now, one more bit of data. Let's say you guys have been rolling out WebEx calling and you are, let's say, fast-tracking users. So you want to encourage these new habits. Well, I like this top calling users. Resorted by total calls, descending, and then we'll add it to our dashboard. For total call minutes by platform, we can apply a filter to focus on device use and throw that over to our dashboard. See how fun this is? And it's so easy. Now we just return to our dashboard, our custom dashboard, to rearrange and resize to get this just the way we want. Now note the plus button here to add more sections if we need. It's also easy to build multiple dashboards and just as easy to remove them. So I recommend you play around. It's a harmless and great way to learn. Oh, one more upgrade worth calling out here is reporting. There are over 20 pre-existing templates to choose from here, and they are easy to customize. In fact, let's filter for the WebEx calling category, where we can see two pre-existing reports. Looking at this calling quality report, we can confirm details and schedule it to run automatically as needed. But check this out. Here's another one of those magical action icons. We can use it to quickly run the report, or you can use it as a starting point, a template to easily create your own customized report. Let's label this one latency report. You have to add a description. And I like to think of these as a note to my future self since I forget what brilliance originally led me to these sometimes. So just do that. Now add, remove, or sort columns for just the data that you want. And now you will find your custom reports tagged within the same groups so they can be run or scheduled like the others. So that's a quick look at the big upgrades in Control Hub. It's better data, along with the tools to parse it however you want. No more cut and paste monotony and spreadsheet mastery required. Let the new and improved Control Hub do all that work for you.